Can you yeah. tell me a little bit about your project? Okay, uh, well the Sina project uh, basically is a group of software developers who are making tools to enable uh, the public to access government or be involved in government um, and in terms of the democratic process like to be more involved in decision, policy making, to be aware of laws being made and also their rights in general um, in terms of you know freedom of speech, um, their uh, voting rights and so on. Eon Makers has this cloud-based ICT application to help the NGOs to be more productive and to help the, the low-income beneficiaries to do various things, including micro-businesses. So now we are launching ECHO to Indonesia. Our first target NGO is HomeNet Indonesia with 10,000 low-income women who are in micro-businesses or as uh, home workers for middlemen. Can you tell me both, uh, give me a few words about how the ISIF grant has contributed to your project, Kara? The ISIF grant um, in, helps actually kickstart us um, from the very basic level of just being established as an initial NGO for these sort of projects um, in this region um, or in Malaysia specifically. To us, this ISIF grant for the project is godsend because in order to launch to another country, somebody has to believe in us. And we haven't been able to find anyone who believes in us that we could launch it in another country to help others, other home workers, just like those we have been helping. With this grant, we will be able to innovate how to use a low-cost solution to suit another country's telecommunication infrastructure without millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. And we will be able to prove that if it works in Malaysia, it can work in another country. And I believe that grassroots innovation like this is very important because it doesn't need a lot of millions and millions of dollars to innovate something that suits a particular group. When you initially start, um, you can't just apply, for example, a, a million dollar grant. <laughs> um, and a lot of you don't have the background in terms of success. You're just starting off. Um, so there's, so you need these initial seed grants to actually support you to prove that this can be done for, for whatever projects you are. So it's really important um, because without the seed grants, you know, five, ten years down the line, you might actually be a major NGO. But without the seed grants, that NGO may never happen. Now, how has your project contributed to greater awareness of the internet? Actually, this is a bit, actually in Malaysia, I would say um, it's not so much a greater awareness of the internet, yeah. but more the importance of the internet in terms okay. of tools. So um, in Malaysia, what we found out was that um, we're a highly um, ena internet enabled country. Um, penetration, for example, uh, for broadband or smartphones has just grown leaps and bounds. So maybe now like for e-home makers, they might have just used simple phones, but now even smartphones are now accessible because they're gone down in price. Mm -hmm. So we didn't actually have um, a problem in terms of awareness of the internet, but in terms of the power of the internet, okay. in terms of access to information of government, or um, in terms of access to voicing your um, um, democratic voice, um, mm -hmm. that was what was more important to us. People in Malaysia knows about the internet, even if they don't access the internet or don't know about how yeah. to use the internet. But the, the thing is that most people think that internet is about email, surfing the net. They don't think that internet has, if you combine it with something else, it could be something else.